This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Squarespace questions or tasks on demand. So what the user wants, as we can see here, if we make the screen small, the product title and the price is on the bottom and the user wants on mobile devices for that to be on top. So we're going to open the console with right click inspect and we're going to select the container of the three elements. Now we're going to use the toggle device toolbar option to be able to make the screen smaller. Now we're going to select the container and we're going to add a property. There's many ways to do this, but one of them would be to use the display flex property and then use the flex direction to column reverse. So this will get us this result. Now the product title is below the price and we want it on top. So we're going to select the title and use a flex property order and we're going to use one. So there is the product name on top and the price on the bottom. So we're going to memorize the selectors that we used. I'm going to be using this selector and the container selector, which is this one, grid view item. I'm going to have to change this in the code of Shopify. So to do that, go to the shop and go to, we're going to choose the, in the theme actions, edit code option. Now to, to find out where the CSS is coming from, we're going to go back to the, to the console and here where I'm hovering, you can see the source of the CSS. So it's theme.scss. I know that this is located under the assets folder and it's right here. So click that and go to it. Press control F and search for the element. So this would be grid item view. So I'm just going to copy paste. Actually, it's not this one, it's this one. Grid item, grid view item. and paste it into the search. Now, we only want this effect to be done on mobile, so I'm going to add a media query. And this is not how you would normally write a CSS media query, but this is how you add it on Shopify. So include its media query, parentheses, and from small devices to smaller and we open a and close the braces. Now we're going to use the selector we copied from the console which is the container and open and close braces and we're going to use the display flex and we're going to add the flex direction column reverse. We will now look for the other selector, which is the grid view item title. We're going to copy and we're going to search for that. Actually, before we do that, we're going to just add here a comment that says uh, custom code, just so we know for further reference. 
and we're going to search and add another media query like this. From small devices to smaller. And we're going to paste the selector again. Do not forget to add the dot for class. Open curly braces. Close curly braces. And add the order one property. So we're going to save the file. And now we're going to refresh the site to see if it took proper effect. And that is a success. So we are done. Thanks for watching. Was this helpful? Ask a Squarespace question now. AskQuesty.com.